Hello, today we're going to do the hourly employee class problem. There's a lot going on, so we're going to split it up most likely into the class, the hourly employee class, and then the second video will be the create the driver class. But let's walk through what the, what the problem wants. Create an hourly employee class that inherits from an employee class and has two new instance variables. So hours is a new instance variable and wage is a new instance variable. Create a constructor. We're going to have to create a constructor for both that takes the arguments first name, last name, social security number, Let's see. Anyway. hourly wage, and the number of hours worked. So these five are going to go into the constructor. However, we don't, we, the two new ones are the hours and wage, which means that the other three need to be instance variables of the first class and also need to be constructed alone in the first class, the, in the super class. The subclass adds the hours and wage, but the constructor deals with the first name, last name, and social security number. Which kind of makes sense if you think about an employee in general has a first name, last name, and social security number, but only if they're an hourly employee does the number of hours and their pay rate matter. Create accessors. This is going to be for both of them. Accessors, mutators, and earnings method. Earnings is only going to matter for the hourly employee because the regular employee doesn't get anything and we don't have any information on that. And a two string method that returns information about the employee in the form of a string. The set wage method should ensure the wage is non-negative. Put that off to the. This is applies to the subclass, but we'll put that off to the side. And the hours needs to be between zero and one sixty-eight. Two little side notes there: accessors and mutators. Hopefully, you know this already, but if not. An accessor is a get something. So get first name is an accessor. Get hours is an accessor. Get wage is an accessor. So all the get functions are accessors. Mutators are set functions. So set first name, set social security number, set hours, are all mutators. And they'll, they're, they're pretty easy once you do a couple of them, but we'll get into it. So this is the, the construction that we're looking for. We have a superclass, we have a subclass that inherits from the superclass. Go through the driver, though we won't get into it, but create a driver class with the main method that prompts the user for enter a first name, last name, social security number, hours, and wage for an employee. Then create an hourly employee object and use the toString method to print information about it. We'll go more into that uh, in the next video, but we're going to work on this. I, I like to start at the end, so first we'll run through the end result. In the end, when you run the program, it's the driver that runs, and the driver is going to prompt for a first name, prompt for a last name, prompt for a social security number, hours worked, and a wage, 
and then it will return back in the form of a string this bunch here. We could do this more simply without super and subclasses, but that's not really the point of the exercise. So that's what the end result is, but now we're going to build it from zero. First we're going to make our super class, class employee. It has our private string first name, it has our string last name, and we don't want these, they're private, we don't want them messed with internally or externally. If they are messed with, they need to be done, that needs to be done through, through an accessor, through a mutator method. So we're going to set them to private. So those are our instance variables. Now we need a constructor, which is just public, and then the name of the class. And then what we pass it, we're going to pass it all of the instance variables, or at least all of the inputs of the instance variables. And then when we construct it, the three values that we pass it, we want to set the three instance variables equal to those. So this dot first name equals first name. And this is this dot first name is this. The first name we pass it is this. So what we tell it we want it to be is what we want it to be. Same with this dot last name. This dot social security number. That's all for the constructor. Now we need the accessors and mutators for each of these three. Accessor is easy. It returns a string. Get first name. Now I can put this on another line like I did up here where it starts brackets, but with the accessors it's it's really we'll save some lines of code and just put it on one line. Then again I could I could do it like this. You can if you if it makes you feel better. This is fine, but because it's just one line and it's simple. I'm just going to, for the accessors, put, put it on one line. Same thing with get last name. And because we're inside the class, inside the class, we don't have to call it this dot last name, it's just last name. Or first name or whatever. get social security number return social security number okay now we need a two string method I don't know if we actually need a two-string method for the super class. We don't do anything with it, but it's good to know anyway. We'll need one for the subclass. So what this does, it returns a string in a certain format. If you don't know much about formatting strings, this might seem a little crazy, but Get used to it, it's really cool when you can use it, when you get used to it. The percent tells you what what uh, what value will be substituted, and that, that means it's a string. It means some string, colon, space, some string, 
space some string percent n is new line so a new line percent some string percent some string new line now you have to tell it what one two three four five six strings are going to be we don't know that is a string so we can put that it doesn't need to be a variable it can be what you want it which is like employee now the employee is first name last name so that's this will say employee colon the employee's first name space the employee's last name new line now social security number and now the actual social security number so again each of these has to correlate to a substitution value oh this is an n so one two three four five values one two three four five they all need to match string or float or whatever you're substituting I need a curly donut. Yes. Okay, that ends our super class. Now we need to get into our subclass. Hourly employee extends employee. This takes everything from this class and it adds to it a little bit. What does it add? wage a double and hours a double those are the instance variables that we said to add now we need a constructor when we construct it I change the name here and again maybe it makes it simpler to have different names for the values you pass and the values that you assign it to but it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. So those you construct it with these five values, and then what happens to those five values? This is an important thing. Super means I don't know what to do with these, but I know I want to pass it to the upper class. So I'm basically going to call a constructor of the super class, which is employee. So this is employee first last social security number which runs to here and so it sets equal to first last and social security number those values cute little shortcut huh and then the leftover values that we have to assign are this wage equals wage and this hours equals hours that's all for the subclass constructor now we move on to the accessors and mutators set hours this one had a we're going to separate the lines i believe this had a hold on the hours have to be between 0 and 165 so if hours is greater than 0 and hours is less than 168 then you do the set method then this dot hours equals hours and we'll finish up in the next video